Uh, next is from Shane Giles, and the subject is World Wrestling All-Stars. Hi, K100 crew. Just wonder if Conan and Disco have any memories or stories about their time in Andrew McManus's World Wrestling All-Stars. What was it like for the promo- to work for the promotion? Why did it end? I went to see a WWE show in Dublin, Ireland in November 2001. It was a really good show, but my lasting memory of it involved Conan getting into an argument with the fan. Conan was at ringside providing guest commentary, which was audible to the house. That's one thing the manager did that was entertaining. He wanted the, the fans to have the whole experience, so the commentators would be heard on, on the house mic. Uh, he had a shirt tied around his waist and, br- and, and hung it on the back of his seat as he assumed his position for commentary. After Conan did, the guest, Conan did the guest spot, he left and went to the back. However, about five minutes into the next match, Conan came storming down the ramp looking extremely pissed off. He went back over to the commentary desk and was frantically looking around as if he'd lost something. That's when he got in the face of a fan, a young man who was sitting ringside directly behind the commentary desk. Conan made the fan stand up and Conan got in his face. I couldn't hear what was being said, but the fan looked like he was going to his pants. By this point, the entire arena was ignoring the match in the ring and watched in wonder as Conan went nuts on this dumbstruck fan. <laughs> All of a sudden, it seemed the fan was apologizing to Conan and reached into his backpack and took out Conan's oh. shirt. They'd swiped from the back of Conan's chair while oh. Conan was doing commentary. Conan snatched the shirt back and berated the fan some more. <laughs> Conan called for, for security and had the fan thrown out. Nice. It was pretty hysterical to see Conan flip his lid like that, and I was impressed that Conan was able to narrow down the thief and get a confession despite having zero evidence. <laughs> Enjoy the podcast. Take it on the road and make it a stop in Island. All the best, Shane. Shane Giles, I'm going to give you some credit here. That might be one of the best email submissions <laughs> I have because that is a fantastic story. Yep. Conan, can you confirm this story? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 you just marched out like like what what did you do? You, they, they, like like how did that go down? I don't remember exactly how it went down. I just remember that you know I was super pissed that somebody had the balls to take the shirt off my f-ing chair and steal it from me. You know, right. so I just f-ing cut a promo on him and he gave me my shirt. Like I told him, I go either open your f-ing bag or I'm gonna empty it out. You know, and how, how, uh, give me give me this. Stuff. How big was this guy? No, he was just a normal fan. He right. was li- he was linebacker sized. <laughs> right. Oh, really? Uh, let me just say this though: I love Dublin because we partied there. You and me did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, the only thing I didn't like, and I don't know if you remember this, they closed everything around three a.m. in the morning. I don't know mm-hmm. if you remember this. Right. And so we went to another street, and whoever's in Dublin, we, we've got listeners in Dublin. I think the street is called Leland Street. Please. Mm-hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. We found out that if you went to Leland Street, everything over there was was open till five in the morning or six. Because me and just so people understand what type of party animals me and Disco were, and Ray Mysterio and Billy Kidman and who went to the, we had a little click, but there was no way we were going to spend any time in a hotel overseas, right? No, ever, right. right? We were always looking for a party, but not only that, this is how bad we were. We would shut down a club or a strip club, and then we would look for an after hours. And we would shut that bitch down and look for another after hours, you know? And I remember Dublin had very friendly people. Where we with was because we were on some of the tours with a Brian Christopher. Yep. And there were, we ran into some, we, we go to the after hours because we ran into some really shady people. I remember you guys ran into some, like, gangsters. Yeah. I, th- I don't think I was out with you that night, but I remember you and Brian Christopher, like, there was some issue. Like, Brian, here was a funny thing. Remember when Brian Christopher, like, Came into town like two days ahead and did PR, right? And like had already gone That's out the to time one of the he came best- with his girl. Gr- yeah, with came with his, his girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah. Right, and so and they went went to do PR, but they went out to a club the night before, and they bro, they, he got in a fight at the club. So it's like we couldn't go like, like so it was like so there was already an issue like like we couldn't go back right. to the club because you know, bro, we were like it was a that was a fun crew. We also that was also the War Wrestling All Stars tour was where we started the uh, five guys in the back of the bus, right. Um, we need to have a reunion for that too. So we keep talking about that, but we never have never had it yet. But um, but yeah, there's just just really fun times. That's why like a lot of the reason none of us really wanted to go to WWE then either is because we were having fun touring with, with the World Wrestling All Stars. Yeah, McMahon was years. great. Yeah, he he took care of us. Great catering. He was a, he was a good guy. I liked him, you know. So yeah. plus you got to really go to good. Australia and Europe, Ireland, right. you know. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. 